Good morning. Oh, we are recording this webinar. We still have a few minutes before we get started. Um, like I said, Elise is getting ready, getting set up. So let me ask you this, those of you who are here, how many of you were on our last Pure Shades webinar in April? So in April is when we initially launched Pure Shades. We had Elise show two different techniques, a natural technique, and then something with some brighter colors. So were you on that webinar? If so, put it in the chat box. Let's see how many of you guys are back for the second time. Let's see here. I was, yes. Lisa, you can't see anyone else's comments in the chat. Okay, so yeah, back a second time. Yes, so cool. So here's the thing, guys, really quickly with the chat box. So there should be a little blue like uh, menu type of thing where you're chatting, where you can actually chat to just the host and the panelists, or it should also give you the option to chat to everyone. That option might not be there. I'm not sure. I, th I thought that we fixed it. Um, Lacey, if you want to see, can you check that and see if you can change it. So that way everybody can see everybody's comments. There she is. Oh, look at you, girl. Hi, How are you? You Hi, everybody. Good. Thanks for joining. Okay, let's see. It's not giving me option. Okay, so that's something that we have to take up with Zoom because for a while there are webinars, nobody could see the comments except for the panelists. And then we changed it. And then apparently it's not changed back. Hi, Lacey. So it won't change. So at least we've got a lot of second timers here. They were here Hi, for the first buddy. webinar. And they're here for a second webinar. Welcome, um, welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming back, guys. Yes, we are so excited. Okay, so I want to give it just a couple more minutes, Elise. Um, yeah. while we wait for a few more people to join on. We've got a good amount of people here. I'm going to share my screen and I want to make sure, can you guys see my screen and see Elise? Hi, Johnny. Can you guys see the screen and Elise? It should look like a split screen. Yes, yes. Yeah, Lacey, you can't, you can see my screen, but not Elise. Okay, so what you guys can do if you're not seeing the, the PowerPoint and Elise, that's, a, that's a, a your settings thing. So you can change the view of, um, sorry, I'm reading the comments to try to see how we can get this. Yeah, so you can change your view to where it's a side by side, and that way you could see the PowerPoint and then you could see Elise. Let me see if you guys, I think Lacey so far, you just see me in the PowerPoint. No, we got to get you to see Elise. That's the whole point. Anyone else? Are you guys able to see us split screen side by side? Just me in the PowerPoint, no, okay. Is it the little box up at the top there? Like over the little viewers, there's like one square, two squares, four squares. Okay, how about now? I made Elise Spotlight. And then let me know if you guys see mainly Elise now. And now I went back to like your screen. 
No, they're saying, yes, I can. Perfect. Yes, now. So at least should be bigger. And then my screen is probably really little up top. Okay, so definitely guys play around with your, it's okay if you guys don't see me, as long as you can see my, my PowerPoint and then you guys can see Elise. So if you tap on Elise, it should make her bigger. A little superstar. Yes, we're good, okay. Elise, are you ready, girl? I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, you I, am, I am ready. I'm caffeinated and I'm ready to go. We have a short and sweet webinar for you guys. We're going to try to keep it under an hour. Elise is going to show you guys two different techniques with two different formulas. And then I have a couple slides just to introduce you guys and give you just a little bit more info um, on Pure Shade. So, First and foremost, I want to introduce myself. My name is uh, Araz Nelson. I have been a hairdresser for 21 years and uh, a part of the Medrix and Moan family for a little over five years now. Um, Pure Shades has been part of Moan uh, for a very long time since they initially launched, but we just recently in the U.S. launched it due to your guys' demand. So Elise was using it. We sent out some samples to people. And then everybody online was like, hey, we need pear shades. We want this direct dye. There's a lot going on in the direct dye world right now. So um, if you're looking for a new direct dye, then you are definitely in, um, in the right place. So like I said, my name is Aras. Um, and then I'm going to pass it over to Elise so she can give you a little intro on her. But I'm going to highly encourage that you guys follow us on Instagram. Um, Elise on TikTok is freaking phenomenal. So definitely. Um, I'm on a TikTok break right now. Oh, well, she's great on Instagram too. So. <laughs> my, uh, my, my thing has gone down. So I'm like, I'm not wasting no content. I'm not posting. Mm -hmm. Give it a little stab. Now I'm going to slam it out. There you go. But you're that's still showing right. up on Instagram all the time. You guys share YouTube. YouTube. Oh yeah, that's right. She just started the YouTube channel. Amazing tips, well-rounded hairdressers. She does a little bit of everything. Um, and I know we're so fortunate to have her as part of the Magix crew. So Elise, take it over, girl. Hi guys, I'm Elise Rocks. Nice to meet you. If I don't know you, and some of you I do know. So I am from Chicago, Illinois. So pardon my accent. Roots <laughs> equal roots. So you'll hear me say roots a lot. And um, I don't think the word sausage is going to come up, but there's that too. I am um, a Magix 10 artistic creator, and I am also an Olaplex advocate and a Malibu C educator. I own Rocket Studio in Schaumburg, Illinois, which is 30 minutes outside of Chicago or three hours if there's traffic. I have been doing hair for 30 years plus years because I've been in the business since I was 14 years old, and I'm coming up on my 30th year of being licensed. Yay! I am, um, I, um, social media has been a blessing to me. Um, I just am really good at it and it's really made my business boom. I was just a girl in a room across the street, like a couple strip malls down here. And now I have this space all to myself. I built my brand huge to where now, um, everybody wants to come work for me. And I'm like, great, we're running out of room. And so it's not what I really wanted in life. But anyway, so now I'm building my online school as well. So there is my um, YouTube, but there is also my online school where you're really going to get like the whole walkthrough. So on the replay, we will be sending you the link to my free 15 foil high impact, high dimensional. And that's free. And all you got to do is sign up. And then I'm going to solicit you with a bunch of emails and stuff afterwards to join my school. But it's <laughs> because you guys can pick what you want. I'm not going to sucker you into a subscription right now. So for right now, you guys can pick what you want. So anyways, back to this hair. Um, how cool are these mannequin heads, guys? We got the, the split. I love a good split. So we got, um, by the way, if you guys want to watch the model prep on this, it's on the Magix 10 and my Instagram. Um, so I went live and prepped these models. So I did the foliage on this side and I did the haircut on this side. So if you guys want to go check that out, it's on the Magix 10 or my Instagram page. So on this side, I did a beautiful foliage. You guys see enough, do you guys have enough light? Is it okay? I think you can bring her a little bit closer, huh? Just for, just so that we can see the dimension. And also guys, 
I'm going to ask Elise if she can post some more photos in her stories. Um, I'll post them in my stories on Instagram. Magix will share it. So make sure you guys, you'll get a, a good up close and personal. But I think I grab the ring light. Okay. Also, the, uh, the mannequin that she's talking about, guys, um, we sent her these split mannequins. So half of it is blonde and half of it was a lighter brown so that she can showcase um, two different techniques. So Lisa, she's grabbing the ring light right now. Lisa says, I need better lighting, please. She's grabbing a ring light so that we can maybe get some better lighting, but that was root melted and toned using pure shades. So while Elise sets up um, her, her ring light, I wanna share with you guys a little bit about pure shades and the, what kind of makes pure shades. Oh, that looks so much better, Elise. Good. Yes. What do you guys think? That lighting's better, huh? So that was tourmaline into pearl. So if you guys look at the uh, PowerPoint, you will see the pearl ash blonde right here is what she used to tone that blonde. And then she used tourmaline, which is like a steel to do uh, the root melt. So what's cool about Pure Shades is in our um, color chart, it's broken down to what the colors will look like based on the level that you put them on. So they can be used um, on multiple different levels depending on what you're, like what you're applying it to. So one of the most unique things, look at how beautiful that looks, is that Magic's Pure Shades, we have naturals as well as vivid. So with certain clients, um, you might opt to tone with a direct dye. So I'm going to stop chatting real quickly. So at least you can get started. Um, and if you want to show them the Manny before the split Manny. Yeah. Um, so this is the before. Well, I already highlighted her on this side. Okay. But you know, you guys can go and check on the magic 10. I mean, it's 40 minutes of pure free education, really. Um, you know, of my foliage technique, which is super fast, right, right, Lacey? And um, she even comments, it's super fast. And um, I used um, Lip 9, Magic Send Lip 9, and uh, 21 volume, and she's a mannequin head, so we let her process for like ever. So I wanted it really light. And then this, and then I color melted this. So we're gonna do the color melt right now. So you guys ready? So I'm gonna show you, Pam punch myself in the face with her. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how I mix it and I brought a clear bowl. Now, obviously I don't use glass when I work at the salon, but I want you guys to see how I mix it. So I'm using the Pure Shade Synergy Mousse, which I'm sure you guys see me do a couple reels on my Instagram about. And um, it has the Caravage 18 in it. Uh, Aras, do you wanna explain what the Caravage 18 is? I would love to. So Caravage 18 is, a proprietary mix of plant-based amino acids and protein. So we've got arginine, we've got serine, we've got theranine, we've got soy protein and wheat protein. And that is a complex that is in every single hair color in Magix 10. It's in our shampoo and conditioners, it's in our developers, and it's also in that Synergy mousse. Now the mousse initially was, I mean, it smells phenomenal. It was initially designed to help apply pure shades a little bit easier. So essentially you would mix two parts of pure shades to one part of Synergy. And it, at that ratio, it wouldn't dilute it down, um, but it, it's infusing the hair with almost like a hair mask and you're able to apply pure shades a lot easier. So Caravage 18, if you've used Magix and you've noticed the shine, that's all Caravage 18. So I find it really hard to weigh the foam. So I just hard. put like a really nice size ball in there. Um, and then I am going to use the, I left it out. Where did it go? Pearl, okay. And this is the end color. And I just wanna make sure it squirts. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a couple of squirts in there. Sometimes depending on the pigment, I might just take the whole top off and dump it out just because I got time for all that pumping. Um, and I'll just dump it in there, depending on what I'm mixing, if I want a lot of pigment. You know, it, can you show it on the screen what it looks like, like close up? 
So that's the pearl ash blonde. It looks very purple. And this one's super pigmented. So you guys have to play with it. Now, um, I've been using a whisk and it would like get like all messy. So I found that using a spatula really is like the key to mixing this stuff up. And we got these mini guys over at Joann's. The spatulas are from Joann's? Yeah. My <laughs> I love it. Up. I love it. My assistant found these mini. She's like, I found these mini spatulas. I'm going to buy them. I'm like, okay. No, they're perfect. They are perfect. I'm sure they have mini spatulas on the Amazon too. But it's probably half the price at Joann's. <laughs> probably. They were probably in the dollar bin. Knowing Kelly her. says your accent is extra thick today, Elise. <laughs> yeah. She put a ha-ha, so it was very, uh, yeah. It Who was, said that? Um, Kelly Martell. Oh, uh, she should talk, Wisconsin girl. <laughs> She's from Wisconsin. 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 Okay. So this is how it would look. And then that's how you would combine it together. So I have all my colors already mixed because I'm not going to mix like all the colors and we'll be here all day long mixing colors. So I am going to start with this side. So this part, I put tourmaline in. I'm just pretty head sheets. I love those head sheets. Uh, tourmaline in with the Synergy Foam, and then I have the pearl in again with the Synergy Foam as well. And I will arrange this so you don't see me and you just see the mannequin head. Let me know, guys, if you need me to move anything. If you see a little clutter in the back, I was a little rushed this morning. It doesn't look cluttered at all. It looks okay. beautiful with those rainbow bottles of pure shade. So Elise, I have the head sheet up that you shared with me. And for those of you that are on the webinar, we will, uh, we will email you these head sheets along with the unicorn guide. So there was some issues last time. Some of you got it, some of you didn't. So we are gonna send the unicorn guide. I'll have Elise talk about it towards the end. She made a unicorn hair care guide for her clients and she is sharing it with you. So you guys know a lot of clients who get these bright vivid colors. We have to educate them on how to maintain said colors, right? Because they'll go in the pool the next day in chlorine and then call you and be like, hey, why did it fade out? And it's like, well, you didn't follow the rules. So Elise has made a really handy little guide um, that she shared. So if you guys take it and, uh, you know, make your own version, maybe with your salon branding, super awesome and, and a nice little freebie. But we're also going to share these head sheets. So I believe, Elise, the one that you're doing now is the Smoky Pastels Color Melt, right? No. Wait. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Uh-huh. Right here. Smoky yeah. Pastels uh -huh. Color Melt, Tourmaline, and Pearl Ash. Okay, so for this one, I did bring it. Now it's gone. Uh, let's Kelly go. Magix does have a bleach. We have Lignine. Um, so lift nine is a nine. Love lift nine. Huh? I love lift nine. Let yeah. me tell you a story about lift nine. So we, um, I want to do like a reel with like breaking hair. So I told my assistant to go get some, I always have, to have hair in the back. And so I'm like, go to get some lift nine and put it with 40 volume and like make the hair break. Yeah. We had to do it twice right? and it still didn't break. No way. 40 <laughs> volume. That's amazing. That's Not that you should go so, do that, but I'm just saying. Yeah, please don't do that, guys. Please don't do that. Um, this was not attached to anybody's head. Okay, so I'm just waiting for down a little bit. So uh, you so just, applying on damp hair, Elise? Yeah, I'm applying it on damp hair. It just makes it easier for melting. Oh, got it. So normally, if you're foiling demi or semi-permanent colors you wouldn't dampen but if you're going to melt you like working with a damper hair to just I do just because well for this because I just think it's easier to work with but like I mean if you look on the back of the bottle I probably can guarantee you that the first um ingredient or second will probably be water so okay. to put a little bit of water in there is not going to do anything to the pigments I agree just not dripping wet guys so a little right. bit I just want it to be like a little bit like Dampish, like I put direct dyes on dampish hair all the time. Right. Okay, so I am going to section out this front section, like you can see on the head screen. 
And I'm just gonna take that from like the crown of the ear. And I'm just gonna keep this sectioned out right here. This is a pretty easy one, guys. We've all, I'm sure, done color melts before. Um, so I, for the sake of mannequin heads and cross contaminating, I am going to start at the bottom. So I want to talk about lip nine really quickly, and then Elise, interrupt me when you, uh, whenever you want to. So uh, Kelly has asked about lip nine, and lip nine is a nine level lip bleach. Um, we say it can give you up to nine levels of lift in 50 minutes, depending on the developer that you choose. Uh, what I have found is that Lift 9 works, I mean, it's designed to be used with Magix 10. Magix 10 is obviously a very fast processing color. So Lift 9 also processes really fast. But what's great about Lift 9 is there's pigment dissolvance technology in there, which in layman's term ultimately means that the lift that you will get with Lift 9 will be slightly more refined and cooler than most, if not all, other bleaches. There's a pigment in there that helps uh, the toning of the hair and not just like uh, a cosmetic blue-violet additive. It's actually a pigment that survives in the alkalinity that helps you get a little bit of a cooler uh, lift. And I don't say cool because all hair typically lifts warm, but what I found with Lift 9, and I think at least you too, is that the lift is a lot more refined and not as bright. Yeah, I mean, it's a nicer lift. I will say it's a cleaner lift. So Lisa said she's never done a color melt before. So do you want to explain the benefit? Um, now, I'm sorry? Uh, Lisa says she's never done a color melt before. So do you want to kind of give a little explanation? Okay, so color melts help blur the lines of demarcation. So... I don't like that look of like a big glaring highlight coming out of the scalp. And it also gives you that shadow where you run. So as you can see, I was applying my tourmaline as an angle because you want that depth here in the back of the head. And so the light hair falls over it and it creates depth and dimension. So now I'm putting the pearl ash blonde. So it just mutes your lines of demarcation. So we do the TZ foil. Uh, we feather in lightener to blur the lines. We can also do a color melt. So you can technically do like an old school like highlight and then just blur the heck out of it with a bunch of like 5N if you wanted, you know, because 5N is going to sit different on a level 10 than it is on a level five. It's going to fit, it's going to sit on tone, but it's going to look different on a level 10 as well. You know what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Like how cover, color appears different on different levels. Yeah, I always say that if you freshly bleached hair and you're at a level 10 and you put a level five, it's going to look somewhere in between a five and a 10. So it's probably going to look more like a seven and a half than an actual five because you're putting it on such light hair versus putting a five N on hair that's a level five or six. It'll look a little bit more like- You know, like in our swatch books, there's two, there's the, the color swatch is usually divided in half and it's the color usually on one side on tone. And then the other side is usually on 100% pigmented hair. That's why they always look different. Right. So that's why you're going to get the two different tonalities, you know? So that's why people are doing color melts too, because you're going to get a different tonality in that one section. So even though it's a five, it's not going to appear as a five. It's going to be beautiful too. And it's going to create more dimension in the hair and more softness. So see, I overlap the two colors because now we're going to create like a third color. And then I'm just going to comb these two or brush these two together. So Lacey is asking, is Lift 9 off scalp only? No, you can use Lift 9 on scalp. Here's the, the, the tips on it though. So Lift 9 is a very strong lightener. So if you're going to use it on scalp, we recommend mixing three parts of developer to one part of lightener and to not go above a 21 volume on scalp. I typically will do six volume fix developer right on that quarter inch of the scalp because that hair has not fully keratinized yet. It will lighten beautifully. And then a quarter inch off and below, you can go up to, you know, 21 volume, but directly on the scalp, I would stick to six volume, three to one. And then Kelly in foils, you can go above 21 volume. Um, the highest I've used in a foil is 32 volume. Uh, because light, Lift 9 lightens very, very quickly. And so I found that especially if I'm putting a lot of foils in, 
you know, I typically start with a lower volume because I get to that pale yellow really quickly and I don't want to have to be pulling foils if I'm not done foiling the entire head. Uh, but you can use up to 40. I just wouldn't recommend it. I don't know, Elise, would you ever put 40 volume in foils? I will have the same bottle of 40 volume for I don't know how. Yep, collects dust. I, like the only time I use it, is, and sometimes I don't even use it with that, it's the high lift series. Yep, same here. Sometimes I don't want to expose all those underlying tones. That's a totally different class. Okay, so. It's a color correction class, guys. What developer does in the color process, whole different class. Okay, go on, Elise. Okay, so now you can see, uh, it's like on my thing, I have like this straight line. So that's what I consider like, like on the roof, on the roof of her head, um, on the top. The gold line that's not dotted? I just made her a car. Yeah, so that was what I would call like the veil. So we're getting up into like veil area. This is really what's going to create the depth and dimension. And also, I don't know if you guys realize that I wiped my hands a gazillion times for a reason. I don't want to cross contaminate onto the next section with something. And when I wipe them, I wipe my hands like this with the towel in my hands. Get in between the finger crevices because color yeah. gets trapped. Right. So you see this shadow right here? This yeah. is the veil of her hair. Um, so I did highlight up, you know, up and through here, because it's sitting on different tones, you're going to get that different dimension. And that's what I'm talking about. Like this tourmaline sitting on a level 10 versus a level, I don't know, she was like a level seven, I would say. Yeah. So, so that's what I'm talking about. So now we're going to create into the veil and the depth area. So this is going to be more depth in the veil. So Kelly's asking, does lift nine swell? Um, here's what I found when I, and at least I want your opinion too. I don't find that there's swelling in lift nine when I use the Medrix developer. Um, it will swell after about an hour, hour and a half, it starts to swell. But when I mix it with other developers, like when I tested it with any other developer, I find that it does act funny. So like it puffs up more, it swells more. I'm just, I don't like the results. So I would recommend use Lift 9 with the Magix developer and you'll be fine. What about you, Elise? What do you think? So here's my thing. So I'm like a rebel, right? But I never, ever rebel on developers. <laughs> so um, I always use the developer that's designated for the thing. So I've never tried it with another developer because I always make sure that I have on hand. I've never, I don't put myself in that situation of like, shit, I don't have developer. You know what I'm saying? Like I always have developer. So I've never mixed it with anything else. So I was actually, I need to make foil swell, a foil swell, not in somebody's head. And I was actually going to ask like, how do I do that? Because I've never had it happen. To mix it with another developer and pack it in, like close the foil really, really tight. Okay. And find it will swell. So All right. those of you who like- I need it to leak. Foil, huh? I need it to leak. That's I'm, like, I'm just going to fake it. But uh, so no, I've never had that issue. And um, it doesn't swell, but I do use a ping to mix it. And I love the consistency of it in the ping. And actually, as time goes on, like after 20 minutes, it actually starts to decrease. Yes. It doesn't swell up. It actually deflates. Yeah. But if you want it to swell, wrap the foil really tight, mix it with some generic brand developer, and don't, uh -huh. and like no open ends on the foil at all, and it will swell and expand and create bleed marks if that's what you're wanting. Okay. I mean, so you're wanting to make there. a color correction. I do this like flicking thing. Yeah. My hand. And do you see that blend it just created? It's, it's the Bob Ross. I love it. I love it. I'm here for it. Lisey says, oh, this is another really good tip. And she shared this on a Magic's Monday on the Facebook group. She says, another quick tip for color melting is to not use black gloves. That way you can see if you have any residual color on your hands that needs to be wiped off. Absolutely. Yeah. Clear gloves, pink gloves, any color but black. Once you put black gloves on, you can't see what you're working with. And there could be a little chunk of tourmaline somewhere that gets on your ends of your blonde. And now you have a situation. Okay. Now we're coming to the front. Now I do everything forward because I want to create depth behind the brightness, which is right here. And that's where everybody wants to see the brightness. So you have your little money piece right here. And then you have the depth behind it. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna create that right now. So I'm gonna start in the front, and so and I'll usually put like a little foil right here, but she's she's all right about it today. So she all right. 
So I'm just gonna tap it right here, just a light tap. And then I'm gonna bring the next one forward and create more depth and then more depth. And I'm gonna take that, so use the hairline as your guide. So that depth is gonna come all the way to the hairline. So guys, it's almost like over-directing and haircutting. When you yeah. over-direct, you create graduation. So she's over-directing with color to create that graduation and color. That's why that mannequin looked like it had a seamless blend from the front money piece to the back. That over-direction is key. Um, and you can see it in the, in the placement head sheet where everything in that front hairline is being uh, over-directed forward to match where the hairline is. Right, Elise? Yes. Beautiful. Do you guys have any questions so far? Lisa says, I used diamond on a level 10 guest as a gloss for five minutes, and it was beautiful, but it had a blue uh, hue to it. Yes, diamond is a heavy on the blue uh, violet. I'll show you guys on the color wheel where uh, diamond lays is right here. So you'll see it's very blue, right? It's not very blue green. It's definitely more of a blue. So when you put it on level 10, almost white hair, you're going to see some of that uh, blue. But if you put on a level eight and a half, nine, that's got some gold to it, it's going to help take your gold out and make her more platinum. So this is a really good little, if you want to screenshot, um, you can screenshot this. Kelly says, I'm going to have to leave to get ready for work. There is an intro kit. We've got another about 20 or 30 minutes for the webinar, but I will share with you guys what we have available for you today. Um, and it will be available as soon as the webinar is over. So there's two deals that we're releasing, two new uh, kits. So one is the Smoky Pastels, and in there is the Rose Quartz, the Pearl Ash Blonde, the Tourmaline, and the Crystal Light Mauve. When you get those, you get a free Synergy Mousse. Now that is usually $69.99, but for the next 24 hours, once the webinar is over, it's going to be dropped down to $49.99. If you want to screenshot that, you would go to getmymagicskit.com. In about 45 minutes, it will be live. And then the other one is the candy paint kit, which is what the colors that Elise used on the other side of the mannequin. It's coral, which is like a pinky orange, uh, low light, which is like a lavender, turquoise, and aquamarine. Same deal. Four kits. You get a free Synergy Mousse. Um, normally $69.99, it's going to be dropped down to $49.99 just for the next 24 hours. So that is going to be at getmymagicskit.com. Uh, we did this last time. You guys wiped us out. It was awesome. Um, so make sure that you, if you're wanting to try Pure Shades, these are the deals. We also have the original two kits as well um, that are also available on that website that will be $69.99. But these two new kits, uh, $49.99, will be available uh, after the webinar. Alan said, if I can put up the color wheel chart again, there you go. This is super helpful to see where the colors lie on the color wheel. So while Elise gets everything ready, the 84 colors for the candy paint side, I want to explain how to read this color wheel for it to make sense. So I want you guys to look in this blue category right here. So anything that's on the outside of the ring is going to be deeper and darker in saturation. And as you get closer to the center of the wheel where the clear is, it's going to be a little bit more pastelized, not as vibrant in, in the saturation. So the best example would be like diamond and sapphire. Sapphire is a blue, uh, lives around a level five. Okay, you see these numbers here. So the sapphire is about a level five. And then once you get into the diamond, you're at a nine or 10. Um, so all of the colors on here, this is how you're going to read the, the color wheel. You'll notice obsidian, cat's eye, and smoky quartz are on the very outside. So those are probably closer to a level three. And I feel like Elise wants to say something. So I'm going to stop talking. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> all right, I'm ready to rack this side. So that was done with the color melt. And now we're going to do my, um, my Norfolk pine kind of like it's kind of like the Norfolk pine. So do you have that slide that I sent you? I did not put it in the slides, but I will post it. Um, I can also Google and share screen. Okay, um, so it's a tree. 
And the tree is a really weird pine tree, but it's really cool looking because it's like boom, 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 boom. And it's um, how it, the color is placed on the head. So it's not like your normal pine tree. It like literally has levels that goes big to small. And so it's it's like a, Google Norfolk pine, it's so beautiful. It's, it's an island Norfolk pine. So my husband's from New Zealand and they're all over the place in New Zealand and they're really beautiful. And the first time I saw them, I'm like, well, that tree's really cool. And so like, I don't know, I was just inspired by it. And people always ask me, where do you come up with ideas for placement? And like, I don't know, nature. That's the best. That, the best there's, inspiration. there's inspiration all around you. And it's just how you impl in, implement it into your hair. So um, I really wanted some cool shaggy hair. So I wanted this like Farrah Fawcett, kind of like nine, you know, 2022 Farrah Fawcett. Like, you know, just what's really in style right now will be kind of cute layered cut. So, and then I decided to bring this like Norfolk, but I really wanted this peach layer around her face with some blue and just, I don't know, just fun. So it's what I did. It's what I created. I, oh. And then I do make sense. <laughs> so I'm going to share the slide of the color placement. Um, so you guys can follow along. So this now she's working on the candy paint. Color so basically paint. what's going to happen is my idea in my head is that it circles around the head. So if I did the whole head, they would get like a bullseye smaller to the to the top, but I call it the pine instead of the bullseye. I guess I could have called it the bullseye that just came to my head right now, but whatever. Kum si, kum sa, right? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so I am good. How I took my first section and decided my first section is I blue dry her style. And then I took the hair and I pinched it and I pushed it and I saw where it was gonna lay. And you see where that hair's breaking right there? That's my section for the front because I know that that's gonna lay like that, right? Great, that's a great topic. Okay, so I did wanna see a base of purple and I kind of foobarred a little bit, but whatever, it's cool with the stripes, it's not cool with the stripes, do it however you want. There's no way, here's a head sheet, do what you want. You know what I'm saying? Like color is all about what you wanna do and your interpretation of it. You know, everybody has a technique and you learn the technique and then you go home and you make it your own. And that's, that's how, you, how it is. Like I learned so many things from so many people. And I would say, I would say that it's all a compilation of like just a whole bunch of things I've learned in my life. Okay, so the only reason I'm using a foil is to separate some stuff and you can use phones or you, you can use whatever is good for you, okay? So I'm just gonna put that there and I'm using um, the Iolite. And so I'm just gonna do the same technique again by bringing it forward to create that shade of depth right there. So the same thing on the color melt, same thing on this. I'm a color melter. Like, that's my thing. Like, I can do all the linear lines and stuff. I don't want to. Like, I color melt. That's my thing. That's my look. You see color melting in my vivid. Well, Elise did that. It's my technique. So I'm going to come in, and then I use um, rose quartz and coral mixed together to make this kinky blush. And it is okay to mix these together. Yes. They are meant to be, so there's 26 shades plus a clear, so 27, but they're all intermixable. They're all interchangeable. So you use the Iolite Lilac in the root, and then you're melting with the Rose Quartz Pink and the Coral. Yes. Okay, so I'm pulling it up on the screen, guys, so that you can see. Here's the Coral Pink Orange right here. It's the third one down. And then the Iolite is up here, and the Rose Quartz Pink is right here. So the rose quartz pink is a very light, like a blushy. Very super, light. Yeah, very like shimmery. So it makes sense to mix it in with the coral because the coral has a little bit more pigment, a little bit more depth to it. So you started with the iolite, you're blending into the mixture of the coral and rose quartz. Yeah. Not, sorry. Sorry, yeah. I'm just gonna call them my colors probably. <laughs> what was that? Purple. <laughs> So the purple into the pink and pink orange. <laughs> the blue. Yeah, exactly. So um, into the concoction mix. So I'm just going to work this because I'm not going to get my fingers into this one too much because I'm just going to work it with my brush and I'm going to be doing a lot of flicking. 
When I mean flicking, I'm doing this. It's the blend, because you see my blend now. Can you bring it a little closer, Lise? You guys see my blend? That's by my flicking. Gorgeous. It's the technical term, flicking. I love it. It's a Chicago thing. It's a Chicago thing. <laughs> So that is, uh, I'm going to pull up the head sheet again so you guys can follow along. There we go. We're right here. So I'm going to do that down. First section right here. And again, coming forward, just like the color melts on the other side, creating that depth. And then coming in and painting that down. Now I am going to work this side to side because it's going to roll the hair. And then I'm going to come again with the eye like. See how if I go like this, it's gonna leave a line, but then if I come like this, it's gonna smooth that down. You know what, if you make a boo-boo like that, it's fine, just melt it down, it's fine. These, you can, these things, you screw up, it can suck, but if you can also blend them out if you work it hard enough. Just remember your hands are a little foamed, you can just work these things down with your fingers and just come in there, remember the brush twist. The brush twist, what do you mean by that? Like, so if you, this brush isn't gonna fit in here, right? If I oh, go like this, small. Got if it. I go like this, it'll fit, mm. right? Mm. It, took me a lot. it took me 20, I don't know, 20 something years till Lacey told me that the brush twist. Yes, it does. <laughs> 20 some years to figure that out. Um, you look so right in case, girl, oh. it's all good. You can also get in there and like finger smoosh these. You can take one up higher and down lower because that'll give you a little hint of through it. You know what I'm saying? Just something a little extra. It doesn't have to be boom, boom, boom. Be creative. Okay, so now we're gonna come into this side and the side's gonna be the same thing as this. So again, just kind of sectioning that part out. So all of these colors, are you using them just by themselves or did you mix them with Synergy? I mix them all with the Synergy moves. Okay. Very cool. So I think you're now working on the side of the head, the first section that's uh, in the temple area. Is that where you're at? Yeah, I'm gonna work on the side here. Sorry, I'm gonna pull around here so you guys can see. I don't know, she's getting weevil wobbly. I don't know what her problem is. I don't know what her problem is. Mannequin head. I know, she's like, mannequins are super cool, guys, to test out different things. I don't know how many of you guys practice your skill set on mannequin heads. I know I do it all the time. Um, and these are cool because they're half platinum and then half like a level seven. Yeah, they're really cool. I dig them. And again, Bringing that forward. So cute. Again, I have this shade chart up, guys, if you guys want to take a look at all the color options that we have. And like I said, the best part for me, uh, two things. One is all the natural colors. So a lot of people will ask me, like, hey, why would I use a semi-permanent in a blonde or a brown? Well, sometimes if you're dealing with clients' hair, that is like highly porous, really damaged, and just kind of like hayish. Uh, using a semi permanent is a really good option because there's no alkalinity, there's no ammonia, there's no oxidative dye. It's just a direct dye. And because the hair is so porous, sometimes the direct dye lasts longer. I feel like you need to say something. That's okay. You're good. Now I'm gonna go to the next section, but I'm gonna wipe my hands because I'm switching colors. Oh my gosh, so exciting. So yeah, sometimes you may need a direct dye to tone if you don't wanna use oxidative color because the hairs may be a little compromised. Also really good for people who don't want a major commitment. Uh, direct dyes are pre-oxidated or uh, pre-formed. They're already the color. They don't need any developer and uh, you know, if you have a blonde that wants a pinky color or like a little bit of lavender, then you could always use just a direct dye because it will eventually uh, 
fade out, especially if you pastelize it with clear or extra synergy. And now I'm going in with um, the turquoise. Ooh. Now, if you want to leave it striped, you can. If you don't, afterwards, you can hit it with the purple. And I'll show you how to do that. So you that's what I did. turquoise into purple? Yeah, so like I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> like all stripey up there. So then afterwards, I just took the aisle light and went. <laughs> and just blended it out more? Blended it out more. Just to make it like transition better. I just didn't like it on top. But if you like the stripe, then leave the stripe. And you know? so I just like that, guys. Like, I know all over the gram is all about lived in and blended and, and shadowed and melted, but there are some clients who like to still see some dimension right at the scalp. And if they like it, you know. So you today know. on my YouTube, on my shorts, I actually posted uh, the Norfolk in funky colors. Um, on my the same pattern with different colors. Yeah, like pink, blue, green, like really, really bright colors. Cute. So what are, you it, what are you melting it down into? What's on I'm that? melting it down into aquamarine. So you're using turquoise and aquamarine, which are on the screen here. They're the bottom two. And it's going to be this whole section right here. You, and you're over directing all of that forward. Yeah. Yeah, all forward. So when mixing, if you have a synergy mousse ball about the size of a baseball, how many pumps of pure shades are you pumping for full intensity, Elise? Um, it, sometimes I dump it. Like I'll dump like a good chub in the bottle, you know? <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Like I'll be like, yep, a nice little. A blob. A good chub, you know, I, like a good amount. Um, just why are you all wobbly, girl? So That's something you have to, to know as well, you don't have to mix the Synergy Mousse with the Pure Shade. You no, you don't. Mix. Yeah. You, and you can do more Pure Shade and a, a Synergy Mousse. A Synergy Mousse, yeah. Yeah. Synergy just is kind really of loosen it up. I'll show it to you straight out. It's uh, so... Some may be looser depending on pigments. So some of the pigments are like um, the red is looser than the than the iolite, let's say. You know, like the pigment itself is looser. Right. So it's not as thick of a consistency. Thick. Right. It just depends on pigments. You know. So not all pigments are the same. Um, you know, consistency things. Which I know all of us like I look for, like with some other brands, I see people freaking out about like this consistency isn't the same, but like you have to think about the raw pigments that companies are getting, you know, like this is what they get. Yeah. So there's that too, you know, especially now. I don't even think they know what the hell they're getting people sometimes. <laughs> That's where they change my tapes on the hair extensions. I'm like, what is this stuff? It's like goo. Oh no. Yeah, it's different, very different. That's and I swear they changed it. So if you want full intensity and you don't want to risk like a dilution happening, then I would recommend mix the amount of pure shades that you want and then just add a little dollop of the, of the synergy just to get it, uh, more pliable but if you don't want to risk it you just use it by itself and it's absolutely the most intense that it will be it, it, depends, you, it really depends on the intensity that you're looking for you so know you mix it two to one meaning two parts of pure shades to one part synergy you're not going to have a dilution the problem is the synergy is a foam and it's very lightweight so sometimes it doesn't even register on the scale so the way to get it to register on the scale is to put the pure shades first, get that scale to wake up and then add your synergy mousse. So say you do 30 grams of pure shades, then you would add 15 grams of synergy mousse or just use it by itself. 
Um, if you use Pure Shades by itself, but you still want to incorporate Synergy, then what you could do is once you rinse out the Pure Shades, then do Synergy as a deep conditioning back bar treatment, uh, you know, 15 or 20 minutes. If you want to put them under the heat with it, totally fine. That way you're still getting the benefits of that deep hydration and, uh, you know, the benefits of that, that Synergy Mousse and the CaraVeg 18, but as a hair mask. Yes, it is also an amazing conditioner. So if you don't want to mix it with your pure shades for whatever reason, because you're, you know, you haven't played around and you're a little afraid of consistency or saturation, then just use it afterwards as a deep conditioning treatment at the back bar or put them under the dryer for a few. Yeah, let me grab another bowl and then I can show you the, um, or I'll just put it out on a, on a foil. On a foil. Yeah, the pure shades are awesome. And I think there is. Um, so this is the consistency of it straight out. So it's just like any other, you know, it's like a thick, thick goo. Yeah, so mixing it with the Synergy gets it to just apply a little easier, but you don't have to. Right. We also have a clear. So if you don't want to pastelize with the Synergy mousse, there's also a clear that you could use to help pastelize it. So any of those intense colors, if you want to bring down some of that intensity, the clear will help you do that. Okay, so now we can just go like so. So I'm just using foil to separate. I'm not using foil to like, you know, like I don't need to incubate each one. I just want to separate everything, you know, and make everything like. Bleed onto each other. Yeah. So, you know, you can do as many rows as you want. I just want to give you guys the basic idea. So I'm just going to go back into my purples and paint. You could probably make another section out of this, you know? So now you're going to do the pinks? Yeah, back to the purple and pink. Or you could do a whole different color if you wanted. You could have just done all blue and then go all pink and then go all per. you know, like use your creativity. And that's the thing with direct dyes and, and these vibrant, fun colors. I mean, placements are great, but like Elise said, it's like, you know, you take it as inspiration and then you kind of make it your own. Um, right. And it's great because you see exactly what you're getting with direct dyes versus oxidative dyes. Everything's kind of white and creamy and goopy looking until you rinse it off. Direct dyes, you see exactly what you're doing. So the, the opportunity to really let that creativity flow is huge when working with direct dyes. So what is, the, what is the formula that you're using on the root there? Same as in the front, the iolite and um, the rose quartz and pearl. Okay, so you're blending the iolite into rose quartz and pearl. Yeah, just like I did in the front. Got it. Very cute. So I wanted to share with you guys, again, just a reminder, if you're wanting to try Pure Shades, if you're just open to a new direct dye line, we do have the webinar deals um, for the next 24 hours. So the colors Elise is using right now is in the candy paint kit, which is the coral, the iolite, I misspelled that there, um, turquoise and aquamarine. You get the free Synergy Mousse for $49.99. So you can go to getmymagicskit.com and it's there. There's no coupon code. It's just available for that price along with the second kit, which is the Smoky Pastels. Remember she used the Tourmaline and the Pearl Ash Blonde, but there's also the Rose Quartz and Crystal Light Mauve in these Smoky Pastels. So again, $49.99, you go to getmymagicskit.com. Here's the other really beneficial way to use Pure Shades is if you are freshening up color on the ends. So say, for example, you have to use permanent color on the roots because there's gray coverage or you need some lifting and those ends are a little dull. These direct dyes can be used um, to, to refresh those. So like tourmaline would be great to refresh like a level five, six, seven ash. Pearl ash blonde is great to tone with. Um, and even some of the brighter colors like uh, iolite, if you have a violet client and you just want to refresh her ends, totally great for doing that without having to put oxidative um, color. It says, I've been making swatches with the kits that I have and all my clients are asking, what is it? 
create some new excitement. Even my regular brown blonde clients are interested uh, with natural gray for my mature clients. Yeah, guys, one of the most important things we can do in this industry is keep ourselves excited, keep ourselves educated, and make sure that we're up with what's going on in the industry, whether it's with haircuts, whether it's with colors or products. We got to be open-minded to what's new because that's going to keep us relevant. So good on you for um, playing around with swatches and doll heads and all that stuff. Oh, that's awesome. I think like the biggest problem in our industry, well, one of the biggest problems, I can go on a list of them, uh, but one of them <laughs> is that um, I think we get complacent and bored and, you know, want to try new things, you know, and not trying new things and getting stuck in a rut and not being um, open to new stuff, you know, and being like, nope, this is what I like. Nope, I don't like anything else. Nope, I don't want to try it. Nope, I hate that. Like, I hate, I've been nervous. It's like, I'm like, oh, wait for me. Like, yeah, I'm it's, it's for so years, so cool. like, always trying to learn and do new cool stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always want to be like innovative and like. Right, and look, you've been in the industry it. for 30 years. And yeah. if you don't stay up with it, then like, you're going to, and it, this sounds bad, but like your clients are going to get older with you and you're not going to bring in new clients that are going to pay the higher prices. Like you're going to lose out on a possibly beautiful career just because you only want to use what you want to use and you're not open to anything new. Right. All right. Just if you want to mute it, I mean, obviously there's still going to be a streak there, but I just literally took ILA like straight out of the, out of the thing, the jigger. And I'm just going to come right in. So I, I don't know how to turn that off, guys. Like, I am not computer savvy. No, you're fine. Okay. And I'm just going to go and I'm just going to flick it down to kind of blend. It's adding them. some highlight into the whole crown. The so whole crown. Yeah, because I didn't like the stripe on her. Maybe you like the stripe. That's cool. I just, I want to add some depth right here. So that's what I did. I'm like, I don't like that. And so that's yes, what I gorgeous. Did. Can you bring up, so that's the whole application, right? Yeah. Two amazing techniques, natural. You can do as many rows as you want with this and as many different colors. And you don't have to color melt them. You can do them all solid or you can color melt them or you can do little lines. I mean, you could do whatever the hell you want. You know, it's your head. Do what you want. Sorry, can you bring out the finished mannequin so that we, we can... Show you guys one more time. I don't want to hit myself in the face with this one. Especially with all the color on there. Yeah. <laughs> there she is. And then Elise, would you mind posting pictures on your story and tagging me and tagging Magic so we can all uh, share it? Yeah. So Elise, I'm going to put Elise's Instagram handle if you guys aren't already following her. I love how shiny this one is. I know. Gorgeous. Like so crazy. Uh, so and this it takes a little much, guys. These are direct dyes. So I always say they directly go in, they directly come off. So the more you, every wash, it's like a new hairdo, you know, a new color. So direct dyes sit on the outside of the hair. They don't go in and penetrate the cuticle. They, that's why we have to pre lift. They won't stay if you don't pre lift the hair. Exactly. So somebody was asking about longevity. There's so many factors that determine how long pure shades can last, how long any direct dye can last. So if you're dealing with highly porous and damaged hair, it might not last as long, but it could stain, which is a whole nother nightmare sometimes. Um, but if you're using it on healthy hair, you're going to get a few weeks worth out of it, especially if you're sending them home with good products. So I put in Elisa's Instagram. I put my Instagram. I put the magic 10 Instagram in the chat. I also put the website. So www.getmymagickit.com. That's where the deals are active now. I just made them active. So if you want them, go get them. There aren't a lot of kits available. Um, and I don't want to have to send you the email of like, hey, we sold out. Um, so make sure you get on that. Uh, I know Elise is amazing at uh, returning DMs. A lot of people aren't as good. Um, so Elise stays on it and she's always helping and we absolutely love her. So Elise, I want to say thank you. Um, from Magix 10, that mannequin looks absolutely stunning. I want to try some of these techniques, even with oxidative color. I want to try uh, the Norfolk pine technique, but with a red and a violet. Be really yeah, that'd be cool. pretty. Yes. So any other questions, guys, before we end it, just heads up, you will get a replay. 
you will get the head sheets, you will get a link to Elisa's online school where you can um, get her 15 foil, what was it called, high impact foil? High impact 15 foil. Yep, that is available for you guys. So you will free. get the recording. Um, yeah, and it's free. And you guys, her YouTube, her Instagram, she's constantly educating. Um, I think her and I share the same vision of like, we have to help this industry out as much as possible. So um, I will speak for myself as I'm always here if you guys have any questions. I know Elise's as well. And so on behalf of Magix, Elise, thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming, guys. I really appreciate thank it. You. And thank you, everybody. Have a great rest of your Monday and we will chat soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.